Tappy activated. I bet your circuits are buzzing with the question, how can I stake? Let me decode this topic for you. There are two main ways to stake, directly or through a third party. Each method has its own risks and benefits, depending on how involved you want to be and whether you prefer to keep control of your coins. First, let's break down direct staking. Individuals lock their assets directly on a POS blockchain, actively participating in the network. This usually involves running your own validator node, which certainly requires some technical know-how, stable internet, and the ability to keep your node online all the time. Alternatively, you can delegate your coins to an existing validator. It's less resource intensive, but you still need to understand the process. Additional data request approved. Direct staking usually has lower fees, or none if you're running your own node, and allows you to earn rewards directly. At the same time, it requires some understanding of blockchain technology, so it's not for everyone. Resuming transfer on indirect staking. If you're not comfortable staking directly, you can use third-party services like Lido or Coinbase. These platforms make staking easy by doing all the technical work for you. Beep boop, uploading indirect staking options. It can be custodial or non-custodial. In custodial staking, you hand over control of your coins to the platform. This is the easiest way to stake. There's no minimum amount or lockup periods. However, giving up control adds an extra layer of risk. Make sure to use your processors to analyze if you're ready for such risks. In non-custodial staking, you keep ownership of your coins while the platform helps you stake. Rewards here tend to be higher, and there's less risk compared to custodial staking. While you're processing this data, I'll recharge my batteries. Tappy deactivated.